I can't wait. I can't wait for everybody to find out what's really been going on in the background. Stop what you're doing right now. Put your hands together. Real life street stars. The original, the OG. The history maker. The record breaker. Uh, the, uh, the, 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 what's another Game of Thrones term? The oath breaker. I don't know. But we have her back. The uh, amazing. The amazing Jaguar Wright. For those who thought it would never happen again. Uh, oh, that was foolish. Uh, stop, stop and take double take because that was is, last year. Jag is back on the blue couch. I don't drag last year into this year. And um, I Why will say this. like bringing up old shit. It, 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 no, we're going to bring up old <laughs> We're going to bring up current shit and we're going to talk about some new shit. But we do have Jaguar right back on the couch, which um, she made famous the blue couch. Yeah. was well, nobody really saying yeah. the blue couch until Jaguar Wright yeah. starts saying she, we, it was a light wall at first. Yeah. Then yeah. Jaguar saying like, no, I, that's the blue couch. And uh, <laughs> the, the iPhone couch. made, uh, the, uh, they made an emoji, man. Shout out How Steve. How wild is <laughs> yeah, that? They, they, that you, the blue couch Yeah, they made a, a blue couch emoji. as a whole emoji, man. <laughs> yeah. It, with so, a light on it. With a light on it. Yeah. With a light on it. Thank you for making not only the couch famous, the life famous, but, you know, giving us so much commentary for not only the first time you came, but the second time. Thank you. Let's just start with that. Yes, thank you. Um, and whoever thought you was wrong, this is Jaguar, <laughs> right. right. <laughs> this is Jaguar, right. <laughs> so Jaguar. before we even get started, tell us, how are you doing? How are Great. you feeling? Okay. We see you got a beautiful, you look radiant. You're smiling. You look good. Yeah. You look great on camera. Thank you. We're loving it. We got you back. Um, no, I'm I'm amazing. I, I'm grateful. Uh, 2023 was a lot. Was a lot. It and it was, was a lot, lot fast. From Martin Luther King weekend, coming back from Shreveport <laughs> till April 14th which by the way, we're about to hit the one year anniversary of me going viral, getting, you know, um, arrested in a pool at a Hilton live online. Put a one in the chat if you can understand by right. And just real quick, in that moment, were you still just focused on the chat at yeah. that moment? Because <laughs> they were throwing ones up there like, yeah. Yeah, you, the, the policeman is right there. Yeah, I wanted to make sure everyone understood my rights. Oh, man. They were saying I was crazy. Shouldn't I ask somebody? Yeah, you, that's fucking if amazing. If they was hearing what I was hearing. <laughs> that's amazing. They said I was crazy. Oh, man. All right, so let's do it like this. We're going to we're gonna loop back to that because okay. that's a whole sag in itself, and it's been a crazy year. But the reason why even right now your old interview that you did last year is trending even crazier because... Um, you're almost like, uh, not Nostradamus, but Nostradamus. Mm. You, 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 what you have said, not only on in our interview, but on your own personal lives. Yeah. Uh, Which gets shadow it starts coming, constantly. Yeah, things start coming through fruition yeah. to where you targeted certain people in that interview. And now you're seeing, I don't want to even say downfall, but you're seeing that target that you put on people's backs. I'm seeing integrity. Wow. Show up. Mm. Wow. You know, I, the day of the raid, yeah. I got a lot of notifications. I got a lot of ads. I got a lot of mentions. I got a lot of phone calls or as many as I could get because I had to change my phone number again because, you know, they did the bomb threat and then they lied and said that I was trying to commit suicide. I'd live online with a knife and sent the police to my door. And That's a, what, what's that you're showing? That's a oh, oh, these are uh, the police cards. Oh, wow. Of my address that was doxxed by Patrice Garner, Chatty wow. Patty. Wow. For um, a bunch of crazy motherfuckers <sighs> to come to where I live. <sighs> Y'all cute. Another one. Oh. And another one. 
Oh, wow. Okay. So address out there, police looking for you. Um, Phone number doxxed by last YouTube boyfriend. Mm. I had a YouTube girlfriend and a YouTube boyfriend. I don't know why they always send the stupid ones. I keep telling them, don't send a stupid mother to do a smart mother's job. Mm. That's real. That's real. And we're gonna, this man, this is gonna be a, this is about to be a great conversation because when mm. you say YouTube boyfriend and girlfriends, yeah, YouTube has been sending me people. Yeah, we didn't even get ever that. since they had to keep my husband quiet because you know once he gets arrested for blowing up the car, he's mm. gonna have no choice but to snitch on how YouTube paid him to betray his wife and okay. you know make sure his wife went to jail so that they could poison her to death. We're going to circle right back to that. Jeez Louise. Oh, my God. So when you said the day of the raid, you're talking about the raid on both Miami and California. And New homes. York simultaneously. New- Wait, New York was? Uh, yeah, the New York house was raided as well. Oh, wow. That didn't even. Yeah, they didn't even really. Three put- states. Working in tandem. And they did not tell the officers who they were raiding. <laughs> They went in tactical as they were instructed to. They didn't know they was raiding Diddy's house. Mm. The higher ups didn't tell anybody because they knew with Diddy being a, a fed informant that he had people in the force and they wanted to make sure that they went through legit. So they didn't tell nobody whose houses they was going to. And that's why you see the guns. That the cops didn't know that it was Diddy's house over there in Beverly Hills around the corner. From uh, uh, the Playboy Mansion, they didn't know until they seen the kids. So what are your thoughts on the show of force, even not knowing? They did their job. He's a sex worker. He's got guns and he's got semen coated fucking VHS tapes. No. No. Okay. I would have went in in a hazmat suit. <laughs> So let me ask you this. Um, when you first told us about your thoughts and you what you, you honeycombs is what you Yeah, prefer. the honeycomb. What? Shout out to Jamil Peterson. He's added a new one. He called him the Diddy Glover now. Cause when he ain't got the Beijing Diddy and he say he look like Danny Glover. Oh man. So we, he's AKA Diddy Glover now. Shout out to Jamil Peterson. I am comedy. So this we're gonna I wanna stay right here. We're gonna stay within this pocket, yeah. but I'm just curious. What did you know that was going on in the world of Diddy, Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, that the world didn't know? What did you What did you know back then, three, that four Cassie years was ago? Was gonna come forward. So what What did you How did you know What did you know about what Cat? Because to, to hear that explain. Yeah, but, um, but if I explain how I knew Cassie was gonna come forward, that could hurt some people. Um, which is why. The last time I sat on this blue couch, I said what I said. Congratulations, young Miami. Run as fast as Cassie did. You did say that. You that was a bar. You said that shit. Did, did you see something being around Cassie? Did, did you see anything around, being around? I don't spend time around Cassie, and I haven't seen Cassie in person since she was with Ryan Leslie. <clears throat> Was there something in her eyes that you saw the way, like now that- I'm gonna put it to you this way. There are mutual acquaintances between her and I. Mm. And that's as far as I can go. Okay. When you- I don't talk to her, but I speak to her. Did you get a chance to see her indictment, uh, what she claimed happened? Oh no, I I reviewed all the files and everything that she said is everything that I said with Storm Monroe three and a half years ago. Exactly what I said it was. Were you surprised about anything that came in? No. Wow. So- Nobody just... else should have been either. Young jock. Bitch. You diddy do wop bop. <laughs> Q. Yeah. Because you told the truth, Jock. And then yeah. after Diddy called you, you went back and tried to clean it up. <laughs> but your is- all about is off the Stevie J's. You 
did he do our bop bitches? Do you feel like that's the reason why um, this beef, but you know, that Stevie J stands where he stands between the beef with 50 Cent and Diddy? I don't know where Stevie J stands. I only know Stevie J sitting on a drum set or fuck. I don't know where he stand. Man. I know what he stand up in. Oh. And I know what done stood up in him. <laughs> take that, take that. Oh. So wait, so when you heard Bitch, I can't stand these <laughs> like for real. Like I'm just tired. Let's keep it a bean. All these niggas. You not even gay men because you won't claim it. No, you want to sit around and pretend to like bitch. That's what y'all do. And then you get these hard Jocelyn? So, I'm just like curious. Like, these are, these are the, you like half man bitches. No disrespect. But Jocelyn Ruff. Them shoulders is. And the way she like running up on I already know. She done strapped up on you. Ooh. Ooh. So, Jack, let me ask you. There's one, the, the shock, some of the shocking things I that hear that heard. mean with a harness. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, not a harness. Yeah. So, I, I got to ask you this. I'm sure somebody's already asked you this, but have you ever been to a P. Diddy party? Yeah, several. Many. Honestly. And so, can you take us through, like, what goes on, like, when you were there? What did I say when y'all asked me about the why was the T.D. Jakes at the Diddy party? Yeah. what I say? Money. Money. And sex. That's it. That's correct. Were you surprised that there were so many cameras in his houses? No. That he was recording these? Of course. He is the J. Edgar Hoover of hip-hop. Mm. Okay. Y'all didn't see him put on the pyramid where the skirt. So let me ask you: When you hear that Cassie was told to hire male escorts to come and the, what they call freak offs now, yeah. um, that is something. Is that something normal that yeah. happens in Hollywood? Yeah. Freak offs. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. Everybody know that. <laughs> I've been saying it. Yeah. Yeah. What? How many times I got some these? This is wild. So do you feel like people, when they hear uh, pink cocaine, Young Miami has to bring across... That's... Wait, the two, the, the two C. Yeah, the two C. That's what they call I got, No, I found out. I talked to my drug guy. Because a... I wanted to be informed because people was calling the two C. They calling it the two C. I didn't know which one it was. So I talked to my drug guy and my drug guy filled me in. And then it made perfect sense. Two C. Talk to him. Drugs with Jaguar. <laughs> Let's talk. Just Drugs <laughs> education. <laughs> one on one. So two C is the cocaine, but they take the ketamine and cook it up, and they they fold it into the coke. Now, if you don't know what ketamine is, ketamine is what they call on the street special K. It's a veterinary drug. It's a horse tranquilizer. Now, gay men have been using this for years. See, back in the day, if you went to a gay party or a gay rave, there were certain drugs that you would always find on hand. Viagra, ecstasy, Special K, and cocaine. Now, see, the cocaine keep you up all night, but unfortunately, it gives you limp noodle because of what the blood flow is. So the, who wants to fuck with a half heart? All night. So that's why you have the Viagra to make sure that the, the dick involuntarily stays hard while you're numbing your fucking self with the coke. Now, see, the ketamine, that's a horse tranquilizer. So that relaxes all your muscles. You could get fucked by 80 fucking um ton gorillas. You wouldn't feel a thing. So now your dick is going to stay hard. You numbed up and you high. You got the ketamine in you so you don't feel shit. And then you add the, the ecstasy to put in the feeling that you've now blocked out. And now you got a party. Freak off cocktail. Yeah. Damn. So now 
the two C, they done skipped. They done skipped all the steps. They condensed it. Wow. So you got the cocaine in there, and then you got the ketamine in there, and they say that some of the dealers add the ecstasy in there. Now, the Viagra, they, you still got to take that solo. Mm. But with the Tipsy, you got all of that. Within. The gay cocktail. No. Oh. Off cocktail oh. in the one thing. And the reason why it's pink is because they put the food coloring in it. They think, um, he said he think they got it from the Breaking Bad. You remember yeah, how they was making the, the mess, yeah, and they just... made it a special color, so they done that with the two C. Wow, it's, it's the food coloring. You think that like, as what... if you need more? When did high not get high enough? Like I'm trying to understand. Yeah, to the point where you have to fly it across. Like I need that here tonight. Can you get that here? Like no... I need that here. You got three drugs, <laughs> powerful drugs, and food coloring. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Okay. You are numb. You are wired. You pop that that Viagra. You a fucking machine. You anything. You the brick wall wouldn't even feel it. <laughs> I'm sure there's footage of that. <laughs> there's footage of that. <laughs> like real rat. Like that um, right there is like that's like. You know, cut me over right now, man. I ain't even gonna bleed. Like, it's wild. Like, this 2C shit. Now I see how young Miami can take all that pressure. She on the 2C. Mm. They be thinking these bitches is over here, like, killing the game. They don't feel nothing. That's why they do it. Eh? Um... Young Miami put out a tweet a while back and basically um, was into it with, I guess, one of Diddy's other women. Mm -hmm. And she basically said, if I wanted you to eat my cat, Diddy would have had you on your knees by now. Uh -huh. Do you think that that was really like her telling on herself before she knew things were going to hit the fan? No, like I this? think that was her being herself because she's a dumb. <laughs> Damn. I think she was just telling the truth because it's almost as rough as Nicki Minaj with females out here. I hear she lace front all the time. Oh. Snatching up and throwing them in her nasty ass uh, twat. Mm. Mm. Like, like when I think of the title of her show, I'm like, is that what your victims be saying? Carisha, please. Oh, oh man. Damn. <laughs> okay. Please, okay. Carisha, stop, Carisha, please. <laughs> So, so you're saying that Carisha is... She's a predator no different than Nicki Minaj. Hey. She likes that shit. That shit turns her on. Mm. Wild bitch. Mm. And her in the sexy red and the Sukiyanas and all this shit. Mm. The saucy Santanas. The whole fucking lot of them. Say this. They I know a Punisher when I see one shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was a Punisher one time in my life. You know, it takes one to know one. Right. And I used to be hard on bitches. But these bitches, they doing shit I wouldn't do. He goes, so that's why you got the two C. <laughs> you know, bring, it, bring in the gorilla. Like, <laughs> bring in the gorilla. They say that's why uh, you see this distance between uh, Young Miami and JT. That she kind of saw it. Oh, coming. JT a punk. Huh? All them city bitches. Because JT could have been put a stop to this. Shit. JT want to sit up there and act like she worried about Carisha, but at the same time, you know what she doing. Why ain't you fucking called his out yet? Pull her in off the ledge. That bitch is over the edge. Like you can't complain about this sitting here playing in your face when all you gotta do is tell the truth. Shut that whole shit down. So when they list Carisha as a sex worker in the latest, she is a sex. Hurry and JT. Stay on these. Don't y'all understand? Yeah, 
to, to be on payroll. How many ways do I have to say it? <laughs> These <laughs> is wild. They're, they pay big to do damage and procure victims. They're sex traumas, and all of these bitches is whores. Sex worker. $250,000 a month to do strange at will. You couldn't wait for Cassie to run. You couldn't wait to be in Cassie's shoes. Carisha, please. So why does why does Puffy why does it all come to a head now? Why did, why now? Why? Because he's the acceptable monster at this time, like R. Kelly was the last time I sat on this couch. Oh. So who's next? Y'all don't see the lineup. Oh, who? Yeah, no. yeah we, we see, see the lineup. I, I'm just waiting to see who's next. Who's like Jay Z is setting Diddy up. Everyone having such a hard time. He ain't doing shit different. He lined up D Haven, stole his life and identity. He lined up Big L, stole his life and identity. He lined up Dame Dash, stole his life, identity, and took his love. Lined up R. Kelly. He wants to be the one. Yeah, shout out D Haven. He actually hit us up, wanted to tell this story. You need to talk to D Haven. Yeah, we need to talk to him. I told you that last year you when did. I put you on the phone with him. You did. And then he got ran into, and then I got thrown in a hospital <laughs> by my insane husband, mm. who's working for you to, to make his mama pray. Mm. So wait. Jack, I, I'm just curious because with Diddy, what you mean with Diddy uh, settling within 24 hours, which has never been heard of, 30 million or the lawsuit was 30. We un undisclosed amount, but we knew for 30 days that shit was fitting to happen. Within 24, he could have paid that 30 million before. Yeah, why let that shit hit the fan? Did he? Because he's dead. He caught a bluff. Because he, yeah, people, you, he should have enough money to he check. He put the boots to that girl. She's supposed to be a good bitch. No matter who she with. All the time he putting a groom in her. Of course he thought it was still going to work. He thinks he's God. All right. That ain't doing shit. I raped the fuck out of that bitch. Put the boots to her last time I seen her. Fuck her and her trainer, boyfriend, husband. I don't get no <laughs> So, so you hear about stories of Diddy like shooting people, yeah. blowing up cars. Yeah. Is he this gangster that behind the scenes that ever is that him or is that shout around? out to Wendy Williams, the first woman to uncover the homo thugs? That's what these down low was called when Wendy first started talking about it in the nineties. The homo thug. She talking about Diddy. And then what's the stuff that's happening with Wendy Williams? You think this is all connection to? Of course. They've been waiting. He's been waiting. He was waiting for Kim. Remember? He was waiting. The casket was ready. She was literally casket ready. Some people are saying the whole Wendy Williams documentary that she's pretty much allegedly playing this way to keep herself safe from him, from any unalive. It's been working for Orlando Brown. Uh, why wouldn't it work for Wendy? To play crazy. Why, why, why wouldn't it work? Hey. No. Hey. The oosh goss woosh wash. <laughs> Orlando's brilliant. Right. Yeah. Y'all spent time with yeah, him. We did. Yeah. He's highly intelligent. Yes. Imagine what it's been like 
to wear this character for this long. No, I can only- That he does as a character. Actually, the shit he does online is the best acting he does. Is he speaking truth? Of course he is. Oof. You know? We seen quite on Major set. Major pain in his ass. Literally. <laughs> Since he was a kid. Damn. Oh, man. Oh. And then milk running the fuck around. Talking about expensive pain. N in his ass. Wait, this is Philly you're talking about now. Wait a minute, Jack. Fuck me. Wait a minute. He's a fucking fruit loop. He did he fried. This is Philly. He's a deep fried <laughs> he did he fried. He did he fried. He didn't did he do our bop. Fuck me. Real rap. You think that audio that they put out was real? Yeah, that was real. <laughs> Nikki put that out to here. That, that Nikki recorded that at the freak off in the Calabasas. Man. She been waiting to drop that shit on Meek. Oh, man. She just wasn't going to tell nobody it was Diddy. But now that Diddy out there, why not? So then who's the guy who's claiming he recorded it? Yeah, that's the, that's oh, somebody the that got paid? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he said, like, I was yeah, standing outside the door. Yeah, somebody that got paid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just like it wasn't semen or fluid. That D Justin Bieber was wiping away from his mouth when he brought his face up from Odell Beckham's groin in a club with Trey Songz on the lookout. The images are there. Diddy five. Hashtag no Diddy. Hashtag no Diddy. No Diddy. Uh, do you have any any views on Usher? Because a lot of things have come back to where Fuck Usher. They talk about his. Usher, I'm tired of Usher. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Goofy bitch. No. Got your asshole ripped open and the only thing it inspired was loyalty? They ripped your ass open. Gene didn't say it. He said, check the records at the hospital. I'm saying it. You got your ass ripped open. Then you take Justin Bieber from Lily White, Canada, and take him to the flavor of fuck off the kitty edition. Get his ripped open. Now everything's coming out. And the first thing you do is run the Bali with another kitty right who works with the man, L.A. Reed, that sent you to the Diddy flavor freak off. Not the flavor. Now you got Justin Bieber breaking up relationships and shit. He suck Odell Beckham dick at the club and the next thing you know, he don't even want Kim no more. Mm. That's what they learned at the freak off. How to steal bitches. Now you said no Diddy, but it seems like there is uh, Lil Rod has come out who he produced the Love album. And it seems like he has recordings, pictures of a whole year and Smart a half. Smart guy. Year and a half with Diddy, not getting paid to where Smart he's like. Smart guy. It seems like you can't say no to Diddy the way he's the way he's putting it out. Like, there's a lot yeah. of people like, why did he say no? Yeah, that, that you don't go. <laughs> yes. You you don't go. <laughs> well, why go? They gonna drug you. Yeah, yeah. You gonna ask for a glass of water? It's gonna be laced with that tussy. Let the let the good times roll. <laughs> <laughs> like if I knew that there's a possibility that I might get raped and drugged if I go to this party, and I go anyway, I just wish they would tell all these little niggas the truth. You know, when they court them with the record deals and the contracts and the chains and the cars and the girls. And I wish they would tell them the truth. Listen to me. All you got to do is let these eight fuck the dog shit out of you tonight. I get all that for you tomorrow. 
Because that's what's going to happen. Like, why can't you be up front? You know? I, I didn't believe this until I watched a Nickelodeon documentary where the kids were, you know, basically, not, I don't want to say groomed, but they were technically assaulted based on saying, hey, here's the contract. They don't tell us up front, but they say, oh, yeah, this guy is gay. But he, he he's touchy-feely. They warn you. And on one of the episodes where a father said, I no. just want to let you know, before you do this scene, this man is a predator. Okay? <laughs> if you see something, say something, okay? But nobody wants to hear it. Like the fuck? To, to put someone's career on the line. To say, hey, That's what they if do. you don't do this, you're not going to go higher than this. That's what they do. You know how many times I've heard it? That's what I was going to ask. You, you're, you're in the industry. Yeah. Did they ever say, if come in this room, Jack? Yeah, I'm, let's, I was, I was Let's told. get down. Yeah, I was told. And you will see some doors open I was drugged. Mm. By a rapper that I knew. I won't say his name and I won't say the name of his group. Really doesn't matter. Nobody remembers them anyway anymore. Shame. They were awesome. They put him on me. He had the camera set up in the room. He drugged me. He did everything he was supposed to do. He just felt guilty about it in the morning. So he gave me the tape. And they got dropped six months later from their label. And nobody's ever heard of them again. And they were some dope ass motherfuckers. Shout out to him for that. He ain't had to give me that tape. Wow. But the fact he recorded it, and, oh man. He oh. had to. He had to. Oof. It was either that or lose the deal. It, so he did it, but he gave me the tape. Wow. And he lost his deal anyway. Is that commonplace in the industry? Absolutely. Uh, a cocktail, recording. Absolutely. Receipts. Let me tell you something. Cocaine and champagne, they used to call it the South Beach diet. Mm. Mm. Like if you ever heard anybody 15 years ago talk about the South Beach diet, it's cocaine and champagne. When I first started staying at the Mondrian, I'll never forget, I was so glad when they stopped bringing it. But when I would get my breakfast tray, they would have cocaine on my tray. They would have weed on my tray. They would have pills on my tray. You know? Just whatever you partake in. No. They didn't know. Okay. They just put anything on there so you could pick something. I always took the weed. Rest of the shit, I would leave on tray. And I would push it back out to the hall. 15 times my breakfast was served like that. Wow. At my $750 room, you know, a night room at the Mondrian Man. on Sunset Boulevard. They stopped sending it because they realized I always sent it back and all I took was the weed. For some of the women who went through those same things, waited years, waited 15 years to talk about it. Mm -hmm. What do you, what are your thoughts to that to where they didn't talk about it then, but now when lawsuits come up. Why would they talk up, about it then? A lawsuit is a lawsuit. I mean. But why would they talk about yeah, it? That's a good question. Why would they talk about it? Who is there to go to? Who's going to fucking help them? What HR department do you know of that works for any of these labels? Yeah. When have you ever heard of a sexual harassment suit being publicly acknowledged in the entertainment industry at all? Never. Sports. Not in entertainment. Tupac. Tupac. I remember that one. That was. He was the only one. Yeah, yeah. He saw how that turned out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Guilty. That's why they do it. To make you an example. Mm. to remind you what they're willing to do to keep things the way they want them. Mm. It's intimidation. I want you to think about this. Allegedly, Sean Carter is responsible 
for enacting Hype Williams to put a Leo on a faulty plane to move her out the way as punishment for rejecting him. And so he could level up Beyonce, who was struggling. Let's just say allegedly that happened. Now, I want you to think about 106th and Park with Mary J. Blige. Free, who is a victim of Sean Carter. Mary J. Blige, who was a victim of Sean Combs, are sitting there talking about the death of Aaliyah amongst each other. Think about that. You got a Diddy victim, you got a Jay-Z victim, and you got a superstar gone. They know what happened. And yet, they had to sit there and have that conversation like they didn't know who did it. Mm-hmm. Think of the power of that moment. Think yeah. about Claudia Jordan right now. Claudia Jordan don't ever mention my mother name. She mentioned it yesterday. Mm-hmm. Talking about why people are afraid to come forward. You mean like you? You was Diddy girl. Corey was Jay-Z girl. Why don't you claim your friend? Claudia. So, so Jack, when you say... When I say Corey, I'm talking about Kathy White. Oh, yeah. That's what I was about to ask. Uh, Jay-Z's pregnant mistress who died of an imaginary fucking aneurysm. Just like the woman who was best friends with Kim and Kimora, who wrote the book Bling and died as soon as it made the bestsellers list. Mm. Who the fuck was these people supposed to go to? Mm. You can't go to the boss because the boss is fucking you. And the boss is boss? Don't get no fuck. Can't go to the authorities. They're all bought and paid for. You could try to get a special prosecutor, but they'll just pay somebody to reassign him to another case. Where the fuck do you go when you get fucked over by the industry? Nowhere. That's where you go nowhere, which is where people like me step in. You right, I go to Diddy parties. To walk mother f- out. Because ain't nobody stopping me when I come. Mm. It seemed like it's men who. They not men. I'm bisexual woman. I'm the B in the LGBTQ plus in the XYZ. A gay man is a gay man. A sexual being is a sexual being. A sodomite is a predator. If it don't apply, let it fly. Period. What else we supposed to call these fairy ass bitches? Mm. Let's talk about the problems that black women are having being able to recognize what a real black man looks like. You're less than after LL Cool J. You're less than after Diddy. You're less than after Jay Z. You're less than after Dwayne. I now want to be a woman since it looks cute on my son. I mean, daughter. You got fucking wills. All these fucking. That's who you lust after. And that's what you go after. You don't go after a real black man. You go for a. Uh, act like the. And then you wonder why you get dogged the f*** out. He don't need you. What you there for? To wear white fingernails and hold big black dick? That probably sucks better than you. Like, let's, let's talk about Gabrielle Union right now. Yeah, let's go. Because 
Now, the last time I sat on this blue couch, I had some very specific things to say about the Wade household. Yes, you did. What has happened since I spoke? Uh, in my opinion, it got worse. Uh, it's a little more out of control. They said I was jealous. <laughs> they said I said everything that I said because I was jealous of Gabrielle Union. She the black Chris Jenner. She done turned her husband into a bitch. <laughs> he wants to be a woman. That's why they're getting divorced. She went on Twitter cussing out Diddy and then deleted it because Diddy want to um, throw Dwayne um, a, 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 a divorce freak off. <laughs> why is it a problem? He been freaking off. Why you care? You was at the freak off with it. And I'm jealous of that. Mm. I'm jealous of that. Let's be real. Let's be real. This knew this was a f And then she pretended he wasn't. And then she pretended that she had the perfect life while she's splitting bills with a the real mom who wants her children to have a fair chance at making their own decisions while you and your I want to be a husband convince your child that they need to get the whole trans thing going on now so they can get a Disney contract and we all know what Disney does to children imagine what they do to trans kids I don't want to imagine that's where you want to send your child oof but you cut the real mama out. I'm jealous of this bitch. This is a power bottom. He's sucking just like you are. And they high on that toosie and they having unprotected sex. This is sucking all night. Then he come home and he kiss you with that mouth. Yeah. It, it, it. E. coli kisses. I'm jealous of that. I'm, <laughs> I'm jealous. I'm jealous of kissing a suck. I'm jealous of that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm just, who gonna be jealous? So, yeah, I'm jealous. <clears throat> Yeah, it, hey, it. I want I want to too. <laughs> <laughs> I want to play dress up with my husband in my closet only. So let me ask you because I look at a uh, Gabriel Union, and when you mention things like Jay Z's time is coming for him, then I look at uh you know Beyonce, and I say that you know women do have a that country album, and any of you that buy that she a stupid as shit. You don't give it's it no trap credit. music with goddamn a holster and a fat. But she remade Jolie. That bitch. I'm gonna tell you the song she should have remade. It's a hit. It would have done great for her. She should have tried it on. Tammy Wynette. Classic. Stand by your man. Don't act like you don't know that now. Remake that. Stand by that. That's a real country hit. Jolene, nice. But it has a ring to it. Stand by your man. Yeah. Whoops. And right. disrespect you with other. Like Kathy Coriana White. All right, well, let's do it, it like this. He was actually carrying his baby while you was faking it. Why your husband don't want to put his seed inside of you? He put it in everybody else? And real quick, I, I, I have to go back 
uh, to the raid real quick with Diddy. Mm-hmm. Um, his sons were there and he was not there at the house's own. Yeah. And he was that quite- was the worst part of that shit. Yeah, to see his sons being How hacked. How do you force your kids to do your perp walk? That was the that was the worst part. And all I could think about was Kim and Misa. Mm. The girls. Just her son. He, he left their son yeah. to be walked out backwards on camera for the world to see. Thank God Kimura got the girls. Misa's son, Misa and Wolf's son, Man. and Quincy's missing. Quincy's missing. Oh. And lastly. After he was questioned by the feds. After. I wouldn't be surprised if he was in witness protection right now. Which means his father ain't never going to see him again. Have we seen the last or is this just the beginning of that saga? It's just getting started. Which is why I think people are so uncomfortable about me being in this position right now because of my press pass and because I'm going to be in the courtroom for the Keefe D trial. If we get to the bottom of Tupac's... Mm -hmm. When that is finally revealed, 15 other will be revealed with it. And you will find that they were all committed by the same two people, father and son. Were you surprised by KPD's arrest for Tupac? No. I'm just surprised that he hasn't given it up yet. I'm surprised that he hasn't gone to the feds yet because he just got stabbed. In jail. Yes, he did. He's been beaten three times. And I'm going to say it for a fact. I know you the one pulling the strings. Reggie Wright Jr. Stop putting your dirty work on other people. You know exactly what you are. And so help me God if you don't keep my man. My mouth. Mm. Mm. With um, the last time you were on the couch, you had mentioned, and it's crazy that you say these things. You talk about Bad Boy. You speak yeah. on Heavy D. You speak on Albie Shore. Yeah. And you say, like, look who's standing. And now Albie Shore is now, he's being cryptic. Not too cryptic, but he's now. He's very cryptic. He's very cryptic. But, but he's, speaking he's speaking louder than he's ever spoken before. Ever. And the reason why he's cryptic is for the sake of his son. Imagine having an enemy that has a position of influence in your child's life and knowing that that person sends you notes and messages every now and then. If you don't do this, if you don't do that, that boy is. Allegedly. Imagine that. Imagine that your baby mama is telling you. That if you don't do what he wants you to do, he's going to be a child. And you know he's capable of it. Allegedly. Story in the Bible. Two women had two babies. Mm-hmm. One woman went to sleep, rolled over on her baby. baby. The other woman's baby was just fine. The woman whose baby, she got up, she went and stole the baby from her, her roommate. Then they fought over who the mother was. They went before the king, King Solomon. He heard both sides of the story and said, give me a knife. Give me a sword. He got the sword and he was like, I'm going to cut the baby in half and eat you. You can have a piece and then we'll be done with it. It was the real mother that said, don't harm that baby. She can have him. Wow. Why? is nobody willing to accept as monstrous as people are finding out that Diddy is now that he wouldn't be willing to split Quincy in half. 
Because he would. Yeah, he said some years ago, like during a TV show, that he would like harm his own mother to get what he wanted, or some something along those lines. So, well, I don't blame him for wanting to harm that. She's his victimizer and his pimp. She is first pimp. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, it, you know your Bible story. I have to just sidetrack real quick and ask you this question, yeah. uh, or get your thoughts on it. <laughs> Uh, there's a man who uh, recently married conjoined twins mm. and uh, he's only marrying one of them while the other is attached uh, by the hip and they both share the same bottom parts. Mm. Um, is there anything that you feel wrong with that? Freaky or indifferent? I mean, question is, What's wrong with the bitches down with it? <laughs> it does raise questions. Like you forcing your sister to get raped so you can it, get off. It, well, the sister says she has to put on headphones to kind of zone out. Yeah, but out. she's still feeling it. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, that is still happening. You forcing your sister to get raped. Yeah. She don't want that nigga. <laughs> you, you want that nigga. <laughs> That's what I hear. <laughs> As a selfish bitch. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> right. She's sitting over there with her headphones on. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> Ooh, what kind of <laughs> wants to be in those kind of conditions? <laughs> I'm only in love with the right side of you. The left side. I don't know who that bitch is. She can get this right. too. Like, that's how this shit sounds. Crazy. crazy. Yeah. Wow. I don't know if my mind sounded crazy. No, you're right. You're making some points. Valid points. Everybody selfish except for the bitch with the headphones. The thing that's tripping me out is why don't you grab, like, are you in control of any part of the body? Like, you need to take a free head and start beating the out of them. Every time they get the, I bet you he don't want it no more then. Like, give you a little skillet. And as soon as they get the fuck, hey, hey, info, bitch, get a pan. Like, I don't. Forget it. La, 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 la. We hope she finds a man herself. We hope. I can't. I can't. We hope she finds a man herself. I so can't. <laughs> wild in this world, yo. It's funny you open up uh, Beyonce's internet; it just gets weird. Um, Beyonce's internet—that's what we're calling that it. That belongs to the <laughs> devil. <laughs> Unless you calling that the devil, she ain't number the employee. Oh, oh! A half a witch, dumbass bitch. <laughs> so, you know, it, it, it's funny that it's it's crazy you say these Why things. Why don't just... nobody want to accept that that bitch bitch? I think she's. She went and killed the girl cats. <sighs> okay. A girl went to court mm. and charged her with extreme witchcraft. Mm. She she was hypnotized. She was drugged. Beyonce came and she was in there eating on her and she, while she was asleep. Oh. No snacking on his bitch, killing people cats. And guess what? They wouldn't give her the restraining order. They just told her to stay away from Beyonce and work for somebody else. Guess what? She's having a hard time finding work, too. Which is interesting because she's a brilliant musician. And she was trained at the Berkeley, esteemed Berkeley College of Music. Handpicked by my very good friend, Terry Lynn Carrington. Dr. Terry Lynn Carrington who put together Beyonce's entire female band, which was Matthew Knowles' idea because he couldn't get Beyonce to stop people. Guess you didn't know your daughter well enough because she just started f***ing all the girls. Impulse control issues? I don't know. What makes you so vocal? Like, I'm tired. So you just, I like, didn't want to skip to the end. All this shit is fucked up. All you niggas is 
weird. Go to the jail and let's move on and let Generation Z make their own problems, make their own choices. These kids are living the consequences of what Gen X did and don't even know why they're doing it because everyone's lying. So, so corporate I takeoff's death wasn't nothing but a corporate hostile takeover using his life as the god. Oh my god, man, RP takeoff. <sighs> that boy died so they could cash in a motherfucking insurance policy and to cover up the fact that Rock Nation was ripping Megan away from 300. I guess nobody's paying attention to the fact. That complete control of Megan the Stallion's career was taken over right after Takeoff died and the Prince family were forced to leverage and let her go, even though they did not want to. Mm. Isn't that interesting. Houston politics. <laughs> let me ask you because. Uh, and I'm not saying allegedly. Yeah, I'm saying, Sean Carter, you're a piece of shit. Taking Pimp C wasn't bad enough. You just want to go down there and you want to just remove all of the balls from every real f gangster in Houston. Why the fuck did that house burn up? Who the fuck goes to their childhood house for a visit and the shit goes up in flames? That was very weird. The next day, and, and within the, a week? and No, the next day. The next day. And, and still, no real investigation on how the house just went up in flames. <sighs> Man. I guess they paid y'all off. Like they paid y'all off for that astral world. Let me ask you. Texas um, politics. Yeah, Texas politics, man. This is, <sighs> yeah, this is. When you drive into Houston yeah. and old fucking Sam Houston sitting there, you can hear him talking. Got, every time I drive past Sam Houston on 45, you know what I hear when I see him? That's all I hear. <laughs> uh, the warden of the South. Yeah. Sitting there looking down on everybody. <laughs> they made a big deal over Robin E. Lee. Imagine what they would do if you tried to take down old Sam Houston. Come on now. It'd be a problem. It'd be, it'd be carnage. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a problem. <laughs> Sam Houston there ain't gonna stay there. So Jack, another Every time I drive past, that's all I hear. Just Nick. <laughs> Now, another thing that, of course, you spoke on last time was, and at the time it happened, uh, was a slap by Will Smith to Chris Rock. We spoke uh -huh. on it. But since then, uh -huh. uh, Jada Pinkett has written a book mm -hmm. where she reveals that multiple times she tried to commit suicide. Yeah. Not saying exactly what the reason was. I don't but know why she keeps trying. She just, just get it done. Um, <laughs> don't be bad at everything. Shit. Yeah. He was an all right actress. You're a terrible wife. You're a bad mother. He's uh, a uh, uh, who knew that your husband was doing things to boys and did stuff to your son, and you ain't do shit about it. But Lyle told me everything. Mm. Uh, they're 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 good friend who. But Lyle told me, <laughs> Jada. He told me that you knew Will was f***ing your child. Yes, he did. Wonder why he left that out of his Tosh K interview. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, in that interview, he, he said a lot. He said a lot. He said everything but the thing that was important. That he know that Will Smith raped Jaden. He raped Bashir and he raped Neek Mills. And you know it, Bilal. Now I don't get no f how far in the desert you run. You'll go from a Philly nigga to a sand, but they'll still get you. 
He's Philly though, Jay. It's Philly. He, no f- <laughs> he meek milk. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, he meek milk. I ain't calling him milk no more. That's milk. That's meek milk. Add it to the honeycomb. You got a you got a meal. So you believe the Dwayne Martin story that that could have? Of course, happened. everybody oh. know that. Shit. Everybody knew they was just ain't nobody know Dwayne was folding him over like that, taking him to Panatown. And all these black is running around marrying these. Sitting there convincing other women to go chase a fag. Go get you. Yeah. Look at my it isn't he? Can you imagine if he's been told the truth about their relationships? I want you to meet my husband. He a fag. <laughs> Would you like to come over? <laughs> I'll make cookies. <laughs> Now, Jag, you know... Uh, That's what these is <laughs> <niggas> do. <laughs> hey, young man. Come on over. My husband just wants to touch you for a little while on camera. I promise you, you won't feel a thing. Sniff this. <laughs> okay. So, Jag, I, I... Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you stand on red carpets with the and you sell an image of lies. Then you influence the public and ask the public to covet and want your life. Who wants? Who wants that? Who jealous of that? A bunch of whack is too afraid to find a real man and real love. So you marry a get for a Birkin bag and then turn your head while he's f***ing a bunch of kids. I don't feel sorry for none of you, bitch. Don't y'all sit around writing your books telling your sob stories. He was a going in. You should have known he was going to be a You married that and made babies with it. Look at Nicki Minaj. You got bitch and marrying level three sex offenders. And, 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 and do you know since then, she done moved out. She don't live at the house they was living at no more. Kenneth there by herself. She literally got him a zoo. And she fills it with sex who don't mind rough sex. And she lives in another house with the baby. But he's supposed to be the primary custodian, which is why he ain't in jail where he's supposed to be, because he got to take care of the baby. But the only thing he's taking care of is making new victims. Who watching Papa Bear? I thought that's why he was here. Mm. Speaking of missing children, Tasha K, where are your kids? Because word on the street is you ain't got time to raise children. We already know that girl is Sheck, baby. You ain't had that child in quite some time. And you sent little Teddy. To Africa mm. with your husband, people. What? You a married woman and you ain't got time to raise your kids? But you want to talk about mine all day, huh? Mm. That boy is under 10 years old being raised by Africans that you don't really know. For all you know, that little boy is playing in a pile of monkey sh- right now. You don't know. Wrestling with rhinos shit. You don't know. Where your kids, bitch? You busy running around trying to blackmail 
Kevin Hart for cheating on his wife when we all know he likes penis. Maybe you would have got that 250 if you would have told the truth. But you want to hold him to the fire over some shit you know ain't real. That shit ain't real. His guy, mail order Bangkok bride. While he's looking so safe, laying in the rock's arms, being cradled like a baby. What do you mean? Okay. Um, you you want to expose that he cheated on his wife with a man that would have sold. Mm. I get no fuck about no fake. Mm. Tell us the real. You supposed to be Tasha K. You supposed to have all the wine and the wine and the wine. Tell him he's a fucking bitch. Oh. So. so uh, I'm going to need to smoke. Yeah. I got to take my meds. Yeah, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I, I got to ask you, Jag, real quick. 33% THC. That's, oh, yeah. my, that's my medicine. Uh, uh, we, we're going to take a little break. Oh, but hold on. Wait, wait, real quick, real quick. I have to ask because you mentioned sex workers. Yeah. And that word is getting thrown around a lot lately. And um, we see that 50 Cent is going at Diddy because his baby mother, I believe Daphne, uh, is uh -huh. listed in a lawsuit as a sex worker for Diddy. She'll hook Diddy Bop. Oh, man. She was a Diddy Bop first. He just didn't know that. Oh. <laughs> oh. Dude, are the circles you that must small? You must feel stupid as shit, Curtis. He sent bitch right to you. <sighs> mm. Are, are oh, the... she didn't send the herpes. He didn't bring it, you know. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I hope that didn't go with That would explain why you would be a little salty, though, you yeah. know. Maybe you'd be posting on them outbreak days. I don't know, allegedly. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but the post was funny as I've been reposting. Fitty been on a tear. Fitty been on a tear. Yeah. You know? He has reason. He has Diaper reason. rash will make cranky. <laughs> One more question before you take this yeah. break. Um, can you name some people in the Hollywood or the industry that are oh. that are upstanding, that you'd be like, there's no smut on their name. They were just good people. Yeah. Can you just give us a couple people? I have. Terry Lynn Carrington. Okay. My very good friend, who's worked with Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis for many years, Don Clemens. <laughs> hmm. The Baylors. Gene. And Marcus Baylor, Gene from Jean A. Uh -huh. Amazing. There are lots of people. I just don't like talking about them all the time. My girlfriend, Natalie Stewart in London, right. her and her husband, Maddox, exemplary artists and people. I mean, I, I could give you a list, but you know what happens when I start talking about them? People start stalking them. And hounding them right. and pressuring them, which is why my online life and my real life are absolutely separate. Right. Want to know what happens when that doesn't happen? When I don't protect people? My girlfriend gets called and said that I need to, she need to keep me away from her family because I, I'm a, I'm marked for death and I'm going to get her family killed. And I'm a piece of I used to fuck husband while I was living at a house, even though I don't know the bitch, never met the bitch. Yeah. Or the guy that I'm dating, his entire criminal record and prison record gets put up and I didn't know nothing about it because these net trolls are that relentless. Best example? The last time I was here, you asked me about artists to watch out for. Correct. And there was one that I mentioned that I uh I kind of downplayed. Church is church. Oh, she said, don't give it too much. That's uh what's the name? Um uh Jay French. Jay French. My church. God. My the God. mixtape. That's out now. It debuted a month ago. Number two on the iTunes rap charts worldwide, only beaten by Kanye West 
independent. Come on now. Come on now. Let's go, Jay French, man. If you don't know, y'all ain't on game. Which brings me to my next question real yeah. quick before we... Uh, 50 years of hip-hop. Do you feel that it was done justice as far as uh, no, the acknowledgement of the 50 years? Nowhere near it. When you look at the redacted list of greatness in hip-hop, people should have been acknowledged for what they were at the time they passed on the list. Mm -hmm. Honestly, everyone that passed is the list. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, Big L. The list. <laughs> Come on. Tori, Tupac. Tupac. The list. Biggie Smalls. The list. Yeah. Take Off. <laughs> the list. No. Pop Smoke. The list. Man. King Von. The list. Oof. Like... No, no, you, the, 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 these greats, yeah, Mo three, the, the, these you can greats. Think Twenty of the last motherfuckers died in the last twenty years, and that's the best of hip hop. Gone. Think about it. Think about it. No, Lying mother. <laughs> and if you remember, before I started being arrested and stuck in the net and stuck in my ass with how doll and. Philadelphia's main aim was to expose the actual true list. Very true. For the 50th anniversary. Without question. And yet, my company was torpedoed and footage scattered, gone to the wind. I'm jailed, hospitalized, and people trying to get me to say that I'm schizophrenic. It's that right there. We're gonna we're gonna talk about the episode, but for right now, I just gotta get your take on when we see a killer Mike win three Grammys. And get arrested immediately yeah. after because Jay-Z paid somebody to him up just so he couldn't have a good night. You Sean. Hey man. Weirdo. Oof. I don't get no what you got in your head, that neural link. You'll never outthink me. Ever. All I do is frustrate your fucking AI. Mm. You can't quantify me. You can't even control your wife. Mm. You gonna handle a bitch like me. You can't even control that goofy bitch. You should have did a better job. Maybe she wouldn't have had to lose her mind on Kathy. Because you ain't protecting you. You're protecting her. Wonder why. That's a good break. <laughs> That's a good break. We're going to break right there. All right, Jack. Well, listen, let's, let's, let's take it there then. Um, I have to ask you, uh, Cat Williams, he recently pulled a Jaguar right and was just <laughs> doing a lot of truth telling. Want to know what's interesting? Go ahead. It's Cat Williams that taught me how to be Jaguar, right? Oh, wow. Okay. What was it about him that you, you kind of say, ooh? 10 10. <laughs> he was my 30th birthday present. <laughs> Almost 17 years ago. I'll never forget when he walked into the club and I was sitting at my table. It's my birthday party. And Special Ed brought him. Shout out Special Ed. And um, me and Ed were celebrating our birthdays that year for the Taurus Affair that we used to do in Miami Beach every year. And Kat was playing the amphitheater and he wanted to meet me. And he came to my party, gave me about 20 grand in cash and said, consider it a down payment on your time. <laughs> and um, <laughs> Moni Love was there. Cousin Sonny was there. Emrel was outside smoking a blunt, so she missed the infamous picture with all of us together with Cat. And me and him sitting next to each other, two hats on, two cats in the hat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And um, 
She taught me so much in nine months. Walking away was hard, but it was when the Illuminati first started coming after him. And I'll never forget the day when they breached the house. And I left. You know, back in that moment, Kat was still wearing Kevlar to bed. To bed. I would get in bed with him at night and he would have Kevlar on. In bed. Mm. Mm. What was it about that and him at the moment where it made you want to speak your truth? He went after Comedy Central. That's what happened. The Flavor Flav Roast. Mm. The moment that I knew the Snoop Dogg is sold out. That was a hurtful moment. I was always grateful to Snoop for taking corrupt under his wing. Ricky was in a lot of trouble in Philly. If he hadn't signed a dog pan, I don't even know if he would have been alive. I've always been grateful to Snoop for that. Ricky, my brother. That's real. Man, that's real. So let me, go ahead. They wanted Cat to humiliate Flav, like humiliate him, like no holes barred. And they sent a bunch of good jokes. And I'll never forget watching Cat in the office downstairs at the house of Marina Del Rey. And he's sitting there looking at the fucking script and just shaking his head. And then the next thing you know, the phone rang and I'm standing there in the office in the doorway and I'm like, are you all right? And he picked up the phone and it was from Comedy Central. And I listened to him threaten to kill him. He said, you, I'm not doing this. You are not going to get a black man, a real black man to agree to do this to another black man. Dollars. It was a terrible day. And then that's when all the incidents started happening. Them sending people to the house. Them putting plants backstage at the shows. I mean, I was on tour with him for American Hustle. Right. I was on set for first Sunday. Right. He said he got arrested over 30 times. Yeah. No, no convictions. I'm getting close. <laughs> Go ahead. Go. But it's been about 30 for him. It's been eight for me. Yes. He beat felony. I beat felony. You know, it... It was just terrible. And when I would think back to that moment, and then they called him the day of... of The day before filming and asked him, was he going to be there? And he said no. And then the next thing you know... Production went on later on that day and Snoop was already ready. And Snoop did everything that Comedy Central asked. That Flavor Flav roast was Cats. That was his moment. The Flavor Flav roast and the death of Malik B are the same. Yeah, that's the ignition point. I don't even know if Flav even has ever thanked Cat. Mm. Because he put it all on the line for his respect. Snoop just slid right in. And Cat still talked to Snoop. He never treated Snoop different. He just was. I mean, they were still playing basketball, you know, together. Like, I'll never forget when we was all in Atlanta, when we did the show in Atlanta and we had got off the plane because we were, you know, flying on his private plane at the time and, you know, checked into the Ritz Carlton. And then we went to the studio with DJ Drama and we were writing. I was ghostwriting because um, I was going to sign to Cat's label. I was going to be the first female. Art- oh, yeah. Uh 
Yeah. That was the day the T.I. roughed up Tiny in the studio and everybody tried to pretend like it didn't happen except for me. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Oh. It's an interesting day. And drama <sighs> is interesting. But Snoop was there and can't they treat him no different? Treat him the same. They play basketball like they always did. He beat Snoop <laughs> like he always do. <laughs> <laughs> Run the 4 3. That shooting the fuck out of Snoop. Tall for nothing. So let me ask uh, the moment he went on Club Shay Shay and did what he did, mm -hmm. that's what you. That's the catch you expected. That's the moment I've been waiting for for 10 years. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. And I'm so grateful that I was there kicking in that door so he could just blow it down. Oh. That's There's an effort. I'm surprised people ain't catching on yet. I'm never loud when Kanye's loud. Gene Deal's never loud when I'm loud. But if we're running in tandem, somehow everything that we're saying, even though we don't speak, is always corroborating each other. Mm. No. That's I can't wait. I can't wait for everybody to find out what's really been going on in the background. It's just not yet. Are we in the era of truth now? Oh, um, absolutely. You know... Everything that is about to happen this year is intentional and it has been in the making for over 10 years now. I promise you this, you yet. Oh. And Ye has not had his aha moment yet. You can doubt us all, but the one thing you cannot deny, we are all Hebrew, we are all gifted, and we are all fearless. Um, all right, Odie, hit me I up. I make pressure look funny as shit, don't I? I'm telling you. Because nobody takes into consideration for that second yeah. that they had told those police officers that I was a psychotic maniac off my meds and was trying to harm my family. They mm -hmm. could have came with their guns drawn. That's you want to know why they didn't? Because they know me at the hotel. Because mm -hmm. I have a rapport there. Because I have a life there. I was a black woman being accused of being some kind of graving psychotic. And my bond had just been revoked by Monica Lockett, who was pretending to be Angela Wusu, who goes by the name Legina Gold. Mm -hmm. Gina was my bondholder. Correct. Correct. How, how, how did Genesis break it, pretending to be her. You, her fat filled cow ass sitting on this yeah. couch. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. You saw that. And for that part, she said Jag was talking bad about me, so therefore she wanted to revoke the bond. Whatever, whatever y'all had, and it fell apart. Let's get it clear. Let's go. I haven't even got started with you, Toots. I haven't even gotten started. Guess what? Let's list some facts. You are Monica Lockett, AKA DJ Peter fucking butt naked. Baby mom of a great artist who you annoyed to death. Facts. You're a failed DJ and promoter everywhere you've lived. How did that show go last year? Oh yeah, didn't go well. Like nothing else you do goes well. Maybe you should ease off of them beers and chain smoking them cigarettes for a snack. 
To which your response was, I was drunk and I didn't mean to do it. You little cow, and you sit here. Truth is, I never said I slept with by 10. I said I spent late nights with him. So I know exactly what he was doing. If you only knew your baby daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's I'm go. glad them niggas fucking took all that shit. You owe them money. Ain't nobody rob you. And if anybody wanted to take over Carbon Nation, it was you. Oh, we're opening Pandora's box now. All right, let's let, let's do it like this. Um, you and your Bob out loud. Oh, y'all. You tried to set me up. To put me in jail unlawfully, and I'm suing that bond company. Because Monica Lockett never had the right as a reference to break my bond. Only Angela Owusu, and I have her on five different interviews, interviews saying that saying she, that she do, do. do. Is it true that a tape dropped? And when I say when I say tape, I mean where my phone at? Yeah, yeah. Where, 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 where. What tape? Can you, can you throw that back in there? Uh, is it true that a sex tape dropped? What sex tape? I don't know. I mean, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> what sex tape? I, I, I heard that in the uh, ethosphere, and I'm like, is that, I got a sex tape. Is that is is that is that is that a thing? Is that a, is that a, is that a, is that, <laughs> the, eyes, the, eyes, the eyes and the lies. The eyes and the lies. I got a sex tape. That's what they say. <laughs> hey, hey. I'm like, what's, what the hell is going on? I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. I, I don't know. You know, so, I talk to my friends. I share some intimate details. And the next thing I know, people are selling shit online. Oh, my God. You mean shit like that? Uh, uh, <laughs> Hashtag what sex tape? <laughs> Hashtag what what sex tape? Yeah, yeah, we don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It sounds like a, a Mary Melodies to me. Um, so <laughs> with that, <laughs> with that being said, <laughs> oh, um, man, here we go. Push I don't it know. out. <laughs> Hashtag push it out. I hope the kids. I hope the kids are in bed. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this. It ain't made for kids. Yeah, just shit. Trigger warning. About to get rich. Oh man, God. <laughs> um. So, <laughs> uh, let me segue into um. I'm Fifty years old. I'm too old to be shamed about what I was designed to do. Hey man. And do well. Hey man. I got to practice. Hey. <laughs> and another one. You might make the song cry, Jack. Hold on, man. You might. <laughs> You might make the song cry. Don't don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. So let, let me ask you: <laughs> When you see Elysio Bishop mm. guilty, mm-hmm. life in prison yes. plus five without Love the it. possibility Love it. of parole. Love it. He's did, a menace. Did you expect that? Yes, I prayed for it. Mm. They offered him parole. I mean, they offered him five years. He's, he's insane. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he's God. <laughs> he's going to walk on water and moonwalk right on the air, right out of there. That's and what he say. Remind us, how long have you been following that carbonation story? I, bef- I first became aware of them in 2021, late 2020, early 2021. Um, people started coming to me. Because my name, of course, I was trending. That was right after I first went viral with y'all. Um, and they said, Jag, we need your help. And I got in there and um, Tope got in there with me. And this was still when I was still cool with the sex worker, the trash baby. <laughs> we, uh, 
we hunted that down. But even when I walked away, um, when I stepped away, when I took the 18 month hiatus, me and my husband, I was still tracking him the entire time. I was waiting. The only thing I'm grateful for Monica Lockett for was the kids, you know? Solar, Shaka, Hazine, the babies, Velvet. Um, mm. Mm. Him going to jail, oh, that's great. That's wonderful. I, I hate the fact that these really brilliant young black people raising their own families as they see fit are going to have this whack who folds over like a ham sandwich when a white man put his hands on him. Cause he too. You know? You ain't never seen his porno tape? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we with got, the white man? We found out when he quick. fold him over like a Japanese ham sandwich, he's like, ah! We found out quick. We found out quick, I'm sorry. It's always the mm. Is you know that- what? Is that the way you saw that story ending? Um, that him jail for yeah. life? Yes, I prayed for it. The, for judge? the second time, I prayed for it. Everything I pray for happens. The the judge gave him the max because of his arrogance, because yes. of his lack of. Thank care. God. And I'm like. Bravo! I, I knew it. Mm. He was going to be three guys to the last minute and probably offer his sacrament, which is his semen, for the judge so he could get his mind right. I knew he was going to say something <laughs> crazy. He's <laughs> a legio. <laughs> he, he's his own worst demon, basically. Like it, He got in his own way. Oh, no. No, he just reset the game. See, society is getting a break, but it's not winning because he's about to take his Nature Boy show on the road in jail. And he's going to indoctrinate every last one of the motherfuckers that will give him any time mm -hmm. and send them back out into the world to do his work. He mm -hmm. ain't stopped. He just got a captive audience. And he ain't got no problem with sucking or taking dick. He gonna have plenty of disciples. I, I'm sure he's working on how to become the new Charles Manson right now. That mother never met a tragedy. He didn't know how to market. <clears throat> See, that's the thing. We all up in arms because this is my life and, and this is like winning. Because <laughs> <clears throat> he's the devil. <clears throat> so. Like the person that's laughing the hardest right now at Diddy is the devil. Because he did all of this shit for him. And look at what he's going through now. And the devil's laughing the hardest. Got you, bitch! <laughs> you were so in the mouth! Yo, God! And got another one! And another one! No, we take did. that, take that! <laughs> like he's happy as right now. But we did an interview with his with his, you know, quote unquote wives and yeah. they were hoping and praying that he be freed and that he was innocent. Stockholm Syndrome is a bitch. Yeah. It's, Especially when it's done on social media because now you gotta stand on it because you don't want anybody to know that you chose to be a victim. Mm -hmm. Them bitches never gonna admit what he did to them. Mm -hmm. Wanna know why? Because the truth is, is they did it to themselves. Mm -hmm. Every last one of them. See, that's the part of the story that people keep forgetting that I've always said these were brilliant people looking for a different experience in life. You want to know how Nature Boy got them caught up with their own personal vanity? Yeah, sure. See, no. that's into. where me and Nature Boy are aligned. We're Tap both sin eaters. Tapped into it. 
See, when you have a brilliant person and they understand sin, <laughs> Don't forget, all of these people are talented. They all wanted to be artists. Right. They all wanted to be successful, which meant what? They were susceptible to vanity. Yeah. And he just found each one of their little niches and turned it on. Mm. Everything that they did for the camera was staged. All of that we saw, they planned that. They literally did it all for clicks and views. Mm. That's why they became so afraid at the end. Because when the cameras went off, he kept it up. See, it started with they would do this wild, right? For clicks and views. Mm -hmm. And then they would get the money. They was on Bego collecting bean and Jack and the Beast talk for <laughs> They was getting all the money. Fallen. They was being down. They was keeping it a B, you know? Yeah. But they would turn the cameras off and then live normal, right. make music, be friends, do, do all the that they were normally doing and the polygamous lifestyle they had chosen. But it got to the point where when the cameras went off, Elysio kept it up. See, they got trapped. It was all an act. It was all a gag. And then he said, let's make it all true. Uh, method actor. Why are we pretending? The best method actor. Let's do this for real. You better fuck that up. The boy here, grab my penis. We about to get crazy, y'all. <laughs> this is wild. <sighs> He was waiting for the right moment to be his self. Yeah. He got them to pretend and then got them comfortable with him acting like this, right? Because he had convinced them it was all an act. But it wasn't. He was pretending to be sane. Yeah. That nigga was just waiting for the right moment to be crazy. And once he realized what they were willing to do for money, <laughs> right. it's time for the representative to take a net. I'm here. Mm. Download. <laughs> that dude was geek. About feeding all them people his semen. That's what the download was. Download, yes. Yeah, they was they was dabbing. They was dabbing his seminal fluid. Oh, man. You didn't know? No, I didn't, I didn't know that. So explain what they were doing. Like, just. He would jerk off. Okay. And he would take his nut. And he would, like, like the communion. And put, a, put on their tongues? Yeah, and... like the communion. Oh, man. Oh. He was calling it the download. Oh, man. <laughs> you didn't know. Oh, this movie going to be crazy. <laughs> Lifetime about to have a ball. Oh, yeah. man. Oh, yeah. No, no. Hell no. Tap um, into the three God. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. Life without, <laughs> nigga was without the possibility of parole. This man. Here. This. Yeah. yeah. But like that, he, he might. That 25 don't seem yeah. that. Like, it. like maybe it is yeah. not enough. No. Yeah, like. If you can get people to do that, what can't you get a person? He tricked them yeah. into believing one thing. And then push them to the line to see how will, how far they were willing to go to achieve this goal of utopian life. Right. And he kept, you got to sacrifice. We got to do this. We got to do it for the camera. We got to get the people. He, he, he choreographed that whole thing. He staged it all to create an atmosphere where he could be himself. So Why do you think he liked islands? Self-contained. Yeah. yeah. And guess what? If you decided you didn't like him after he introduced you to the real him, well, you already had your passport and your social security card because you had to turn all that in. Yeah. Your ATMs, your debit cards. You're in a foreign country with no ID and no access to cash yeah. at all. 
Let me, Young man, yes, 2.0. Please. please. What are you going to do? You out in the middle of where? With the son of Satan. And he's the only one that has access and gets constant random access to the outside world. So that would make me want to ask you then his followers. And again, uh, you think so any one of those women want to admit that they fell in love with the devil? No, no. Let's just be honest. They going to stay in true because they'd rather be talked down about as his wife than be called stupid like they really are. Mm -hmm. It's vanity. See, mm -hmm. they going to hold him down for vanity. He got him with vanity and he's keeping him with vanity. Mm -hmm. And they're going to help him build his little army. I've already heard a little chatter. He can't wait to start indoctrinating the young boys that book in. Mm. He's found a whole new calling. And he gets to freak out. So we, we we sat down, we spoke to Solar, we spoke to um to uh Shaka. Shout out I believe, to my nephews. Yeah, Solar had to testify. Solar did testify. He did testify yeah. in his case. Um, when he left Vegas, we didn't tell anyone when he left Vegas. Mm. I just, I sent the money, we booked the ticket, yes. and that was that. Um, it was a hard choice for him. He doesn't believe in the criminal justice system, and he mm. doesn't believe in prison because there is no rehabilitation, in his opinion. Right. He is right to believe that he's a black man. There's plenty of evidence to corroborate his feelings. Mm. But I've noticed since the trial and the sentencing, a calmness has come over him. He's complete with it now. And he can move forward. Hmm. And um, even when I talked to Shaka and Azim, <clears throat> since... He was sentenced. There's a, something is lifted. Uh, I wish people would stop feeling the need to judge people on mistakes that they made in the past. Right. Because to keep talking about it when they've moved on and become something different, that's not them being stuck in the past, that's you refusing to let it go. And these are brilliant people. And my baby Shaka and my, my little Savion, my little chocolate COVID drop that got me sick. You know, when I hear people talk about, she hates kids and she's this and she's that. It's funny because I've always been amazing with children and children love me because I trust children as they should be trusted completely. They haven't learned how to lie to themselves yet. They tell the truth. Every time I walk into a courtroom, I always pray that my judge has the spirit of a six-year-old. You got to understand the purity of a heart. We teach our children not to trust their instincts because they have to follow what society says. We teach our children not to pay attention to old customs and old ways because people will make fun of them. But we've given up our culture and separated ourselves from everything that is us. And we wonder why we're sick. Mentally, physically, spiritually. We have separated ourselves from everything we were intended to do. What the fuck is a Christian? I don't think I've ever met one. I don't know anybody that acts like Christ. I don't. <laughs> you were going to say something? Yeah. Do you think, um, you said that you were glad that he got life, right? Yeah. 
Um, what about his upbringing and the things that he went through? Oh, think? his mother was a whole <laughs> to <dude>, all kinds <laughs> of shit. Just like Diddy Mom. He a yeah. Diddy Mom. You know, I tell people all the time, you know, especially when I would be in jail, like that last time in Dallas, it was this girl. When I was in Tank 10, they kept moving me around. Everybody's afraid of me. But this girl, she kept getting high. She was just taking whatever she could get. They sliding it through the door. Mm-hmm. And I didn't know she was pregnant. And then somebody was like, that girl should be ashamed of herself. She's pregnant. I said, with the amount of drugs she's doing every day. So I walked up to her one day and I said, why you hate that baby? And she said, what are you talking about? I love my baby. I said, not doing the amount of drugs you're doing. You hate that child. Or do you hate his father? Like, who the f*** do you hate? Right. Or do you just hate yourself? Why are you getting all deep? Because I'm trying to figure out why you're creating another Jeffrey Dahmer that we have to live with. I said his mom was doing dope, like you doing dope. You see how he turned out. Huh? Like, yeah, he was made a psychopath. And you know what she said? Well, my baby ain't going to turn out like that. I said, well, how about this? He probably will. And I pray you're his first victim. Ah, she started crying. True. So let me ask, um, when you see a situation like Carbon Nation, mm. is it a question of not if, but when another Carbon Nation type situation is going to happen? It's already start? happening. Oh, wow. I don't want to say any names, but there are people that are already trying to rekindle. Like I said, his prison sentence was the beginning for him. They really need to monitor him in jail. He could run things from jail. Oh, he is. is. They're already organizing. Yeah, yeah. We spoke to him a few times uh, from jail. And we could see that he's trying to still manipulate (laughs) the outside world from there. Oh, he's Uh, not trying. He's doing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just a slow crawl. But now that he's all the way in there and the girls are about to start, the wives are about to start doing more social media campaign. By the time he shows all of the new inmates the kind of money that he can generate offline and he can keep boys like, you know, commissary heavy. (laughs) Please. Throw a little sex in there. Have a little download meeting. Download meeting. In the shower, you know. And then send that motherfucker back out there. Now you go be me. And you go. And you go be me. That's what he used to say when he would see a woman that he wanted to manipulate and enslave. You look like me. Yeah. He said it to Nosey, to the sex worker. He knew who to talk to. You look like me. And he would get so excited. That can get it started. (laughs) That can get it started. Now imagine what that kind of mind can do in confinement. with Nothing but time. Bro- we haven't seen souls. the last of Elysio Bishop. We're about to meet all of them. All of them. All of them. Whoa. Okay. See, this is why I believe in the old way. Truth is, somebody should have just shot that in the head. He's a weed. It don't matter what garden you put him in. He's going to grow. He's cancer. You can radiate, but if you leave just a little bit there, it's going to grow. Malignant. People like this need to die. They don't need more time. They need to be gone. Why do we keep them here? Because when they gave him life, he he didn't care. He was like, oh, I forgive you. Yeah. I was like, what the f- 
Tell you? <laughs> you think I'm joking? Yeah. You you know what? Pour me one and pour yourself <laughs> one. Because you done lost your damn yeah, yeah. mind. Yeah, that's I'm a, sitting here telling yeah. you that was the beginning. Yeah, that's a Malaysia of He went into jail famous. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Did you see how I was unafraid? Come, little children, feel my ball. <laughs> Feel my power. <laughs> no, man. No. Oh, so. That's how that nigga be. So. Oh, you look like me. <laughs> he, I'm sure he's manipulating the guard right like now. In the, like in the Matrix. Remember when it mutated? And, and, and they started touching people and turning them into agents? Yes. And then they they made all of these agents for Neo to fight. Yes. And then they started making them look like Neo, so Neo was fighting himself. Yeah. Yes. That's exactly what Elysio Bishop is trying to do in real time. He's going to infect as many minds as he possibly can with his depravity. And then he's going to gas them up and put a battery in their bag. And he gonna send them out into society, and then guess what? They gonna put money on his books, and he gonna tell them how to hustle on social media, and he gonna teach them how to get that money, and they gonna put more money on his book. Uh, when we were talking to Zolar, I I think I asked him, "Do you believe that Elijo is the Messiah still?" He he said, "Yes." I want to say that we all are. Okay. So we all are, and we all are nothing. Right. Okay. Vessels. We inhabit spirit. You take the human brain and the human spirit out of the body, it dies, it turns into dust. Mm -hmm. We are nothing but our spirit. And let me add, this is this is this might be a compounded question, but um for Jaguar right, mm -hmm. what do you feel is uh, the human purpose, the purpose of man, woman, the purpose of to life. To learn and evolve and grow. Into what? Whatever. Okay. There's not supposed to be a determination. You're just supposed to be. Mm. Whatever that is. Mm. If it is your purpose to make people happy, then that's what you'll do. If it is your purpose to motivate people, that's what you'll do. If it is your pur purpose-driven lives. Did you get them? Yes. Um, purpose-driven lives. You know, even if your purpose is just to wake up and troll, there are committed trolls on, online. Mm. Like, you got to think about what that takes. You're... There's nobody sitting out here in the world. You go online, you pick a personality and you blame them for all of your problems. You hate them for having the attention that you're never going to get. And then you find a way to tether yourself to that person to look for relevance. And then you spend every day thinking of how to keep that tether tight so you can continue to keep getting that, uh, that infusion of attention. You got to think about how committed you had to be. When I wake up in the morning, I think about taking a eating breakfast, this, that, and the third, so on, so on, so forth. Uh, what I need to get done today. What time am I making content? What's going to be the focus of the content? My squad meetings. You know, blah, blah, blah. That, that's what I'm thinking about. It says when so these people wake up, what did Jack do last night? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What did she say? Rewind. Oh no, <laughs> we gotta go live. Yeah. Jack said she's going to the Seven Eleven. We gotta go live. Mm. Jack just took a mm. shit on the toilet. We gotta go live. <laughs> oh my God, she's Jack. She's we gotta go live. Why? So let me ask. Um, like why? And, and I want to give context to this because you know, uh, hundred years ago, 
maybe a billion, two billion people in the world. Mm-hmm. Uh, mind you, humans been around for thousands, thousands of years. Yeah, we got a few eons going on. Now we're about to push eight billion, and you see in the world, in the world, the whole world, and you've yeah. been to a lot of countries. We need Thanos. Yeah, if I say, uh, I mean, the snap might have to come we because... We need Thanos. You got to understand, progeny is clone. Stupid on. mammy, stupid pappy, stupid kid. Hey. hey. Do we really need more? <laughs> we got enough stupid motherfuckers in this world. Do we need more? <laughs> Wait, and what? then... Dumb and Dumber get together and make dumbest. And then they sit there and say, look how stupid my kid is and never take for it. It's your kid. Hmm. The pandemic, that's interesting. Very. Listening to parents complaining about doing their children's schoolwork with them. You want to know why they were mostly complaining? Very few of them was honest about. Sure. They couldn't do the work they did. Uh, that's facts. <laughs> that's that's facts. They got sick and tired of looking stupid when their kid came to them and asked them a question about math or history or geometry or this, and they didn't know the f- answer. So then they bitch at the f- online teachers about the lesson plans and how they need to be doing more and how it's bad enough my child is home all day. What do you mean it's bad enough? Your child is home all day. There's some people whose child don't ever come home. And you're complaining about educating your child when that's what you're supposed to do in the first place. You're not supposed to rely on strangers to teach your kids. But we do. And guess what? Most of the shit that they teach is irrelevant, um, irrelevant, worthless, and lies. Yeah. Do you feel like AI will be teaching our kids soon? It already is. Yeah, no, yeah. It, it, it is, literally. Where, where do you think yeah. the programs are being generated from? There was a, there's a whole commercial that they run, an ad that they run on YouTube about a woman bragging about her AI lawyer. Yeah, yeah. And guess what it says in the, and guess what she says early in it? I know AI is about to take over all our jobs and exile us from humanity. But I'm telling you, he got me my money faster than any real lawyer. <laughs> you need $5,400 in your account. <laughs> what the f- no, no f- she literally said, I know this machine is about to make sure yes. I'm homeless and destitute and poor, but it's getting me money now. So that's what's up. Man. That's a f- commercial. That's the Terminator. That's, that's the beginning of a Terminator movie. That's <laughs> iRobot. Yes, iRobot. We're seeing that's the beginning. the Terminator. 5G, Skynet, where do they differ? The lines are getting blurred. Art imitates life. When Hitler wanted to overthrow the Jews in Germany, his first line of attack was to bring in a director, a film director, to do a series of movies that ran for two and a half years while he was working up his gambit depicting Jews as trifling and evil and stingy and nasty, and Germans as fed up and tired of dealing with them. They had characters that people, the Germans were able to relate to. And there were just enough Jews around to make everything that they were saying in those movies true for them. Think about it. Control to me. Three years of being desensitized to what happens to a specific race of people. So when it actually happens, you don't say anything. Mm. You're already okay with it. They they did that to us. Yeah, well, Mm. yeah, in the black movies now. Yeah. In society, (laughs) when some black man gets killed on TV, everybody's just sensitized. That's how they do. That's how MKUltra works. So let me ask, there's a movie They com- program the okay. mind to believe the program. There you go. Man, yeah. C- come on. C- it's called a program. <laughs> when you are writing code, you're 
programming. Mm. Why, why do people have such a hard time with embracing the truth? Hey, I, I don't get it. Saying something. Running around, glorifying a bunch of fag hags, <laughs> falling in love with a bunch of fag Sitting there telling real black men that they need to be more like the f yeah. and saying, I don't need a n like you. I need a n that fat. Hmm. Cause he come through. It seems like they are trying to demasculate. Demasculate? It, it, it's, it's worse than that. Yeah. They're forcing black women to not be attracted to real black men. What does that do? Mm. It kills the propagation of the species. Mm. If black women aren't attracted to black men, and black men aren't attracted to black women, where are the black babies gonna come from? There you go. There you if you're busy trying to be Jay-Z, When do you spend time being yourself? You know, one of my favorite artists that I love on top of TDE is uh, Sir. But he has this song, beats dope, stories good. But it's the song, just the title of the song. The name of the song? Yes. It's called Jay-Z. Literally. What the f does it have to do mm. with the story about him and his man f with some bad b that don't get no fucking, you know? Mm. He actually has another song um, from one of the earlier albums where one of the lines is, her friends don't like me because they know that I would trade her love for a Grammy. Come on now. I, I would trade her love for a Grammy. Come on now. Are you kidding me? Shit. Uh, it's the embedded idol worship scene. Mm. This was an offering. That's why his name is all over it. Come on. Please yeah. keep me in the Illuminati. Mm -hmm. Please keep me. I wrote a hit record for you. Because that name ain't got shit to do with that song. There you go. And, and to sit in your songs and brag about rejecting the love of a human being for a statue that if you pawn it, you can't even get more than $1,000 for it. <laughs> that ain't even worth a thousand? <laughs> Why was you with her in the first place? <laughs> she was so disposable. No wonder her friends hate you. I'd hate you too. You using my friend. J hmm. Yeah. Let me ask you, and I hate yeah. to, I don't want to get too political, but you know, we're in election year. Yeah. And, uh, and ain't nobody talking about no election. Ain't nobody talking about no election. Ain't that funny? Not uh, even a debate. Not even a debate. The last time we had Herschel Walker making a mess of himself, and now ain't nobody time, saying shit. Ain't nobody saying shit. Um, there's a movie about to come out called Civil War where they're showing California, Texas, mm -hmm. and fuck. And I see January 6th happen with the Trump supporters. and They're just getting everybody ready. It's like, seems like they're prepping us for, like, we're not talking no elections. All just... them guys, rednecks, <laughs> is out there buying bear spray, land, snares, traps, <laughs> bow and arrow, crossbow. They out there. Why ain't y'all out there getting it? I'm getting my shit. I yeah, can't yeah, get no, anything I'm... technically right now because I'm on bond. But I'm looking, I'm looking I'm south of the border. I'm carry weapons. <laughs> I'm sorry for that, Jack. I hate, I hate, I hate you can't, you know. You used to be in love with your weapons. Go ahead. 
But no, I, I am seeing what's going on south I'm, of the border. I'm, I'm tired. He's is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be honest. The whole world hates us right now. The value of our dollar is going down and we're lying to the public and we got a robot running the country. Man. <laughs> Let's be honest. Let's be honest. TikTok. The shit that's going on with TikTok, they not even being honest about that. They can't. They're trying and to guess man. what? <laughs> Meanwhile, can anybody tell me um, how did Brittany Garner's team finish last season? Mm, uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I mean, she was playing for Phoenix, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they how free. did they do? Were they selling out all the tickets? <laughs> Nah, Did she? Nah. How, what was the boards looking like? Does anybody know what kind of board she had? Nah, nah, no, 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 no. I know a Russian arms dealer's free. Is she going back to the Olympics to represent the United States? Nah, I don't think so. So then, why the f did we let her out of jail for the God Lord of War? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Why the. Was we in a rush to bring her back? I want to know. She don't like America. She done said that. Don't nobody know what the f she did with that goddamn team that ain't nobody paying no tickets to go see. She ain't out here doing no activism or talking about what it's like to be a POW in Russia. She ain't doing no public service announcement. None of that. Her sat there cried all them goddamn months. They ain't fucking doing shit. They barely said thank you to any fucking body. Man. She ain't win nothing. Man. Why we bring her back? Because the nigga let her go for it can make a nuke in his sleep with his eyes tied up in Yeah, no, no, no. That is, yeah. Lord, we Lord. let him go for her? That was a crazy I'm image. sorry. How did Phoenix WNBA finish? Nobody knows. Oh, that's sad. How illuminating. That's what mean. Oh, that's oh man. No disrespect, Brittany. <laughs> Why we all gotta suffer? You the one that took the weed juice. Ain't nobody tell you put that shit in your bag. And we got real heroes sitting over there waiting to get let go. And they stood there. And she ain't winning. See, I, see, I was gonna ask about Gilly Wallow. Uh, uh, what happened? Just, just Gilly Wallow too. Yo. And we there. <laughs> him too. I was <laughs> that was leaning to the commissary heavy. A hundred million dollars. Are you still eating chi cheese? They say. Yeah. You still eating chi cheese? Try to gatekeep on me again, Wallow. I'm telling everybody what Birdman did to Gil. Ain't that Philly though? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Yeah. They ain't Philly if they gatekeeping on my name. Oh, man. Oh. You ain't no kind of Philly if you gatekeeping on my name. You gonna sit there and tell my little brother that mentioning my name is gonna hurt his career when I'm promoting him? For what? <laughs> what, what album you put out, Wallow? What album Gil put out? For real, for real. If he had stayed his black ass in Philadelphia and doubled down on major figures, maybe he wouldn't have got touched up by the bird name. Because there is no young man that made their way through that man's that didn't get You think Wheezy only got on? Are you kidding me? The kind of that'll leave his brother in jail. And then show him no real support when he gets home. <laughs> if he <laughs> over his own brother, why wouldn't he f up other people's kids? I don't understand. But I tell you this, Wallow. The next time you open your mouth and my name comes out of it, it better be with only respect. Because I know bitches that you f*** with. And they talk heavy. And I pay in cash. I f you out. So, Jag, um, 
to you asked. Yeah, no, I did, I did, I did, I did. I need a joint. Yeah, no, and we're we're about to end this with this because I want to take this home and um for all those who show concern. And, uh, and shout out to my sister Mia yeah. and my shout girl, my baby girl. Ah! Shout out me in the building. Shout out me in the building. You know what? Man. I'm mad at you because we supposed to do karaoke last time I came. Oh, there's still time. <laughs> there's still time. <laughs> now, let me ask uh, for those that are wondering, um, and you can take us home with this, um, as far as, you know, the status of um, your mother and Sam Jr. A lot mm -hmm. of people were concerned. They're fine where they are. Everything that happens, happens within the will of God. There you go. And the truth is, I get more done without them. I really don't need anybody slowing me down right now. If I really want them with me all the time, I got to get to the end of this. I can't guarantee their safety with me. And having to worry about them 24 hours a day, seven days a week, ain't helping me. Ain't helping them either. What I will say is that my son is about to turn 22 years old. And if anybody wants to have a conversation with me about him, they'll have to do it with him present because he is a grown man and he has the right and the ability to speak for himself. Unless my son is present, I will not answer any questions about any of my kids. And as far as my mom is concerned, I've taken care of all my life. I think I earned a break. I've been a great daughter. I hope Shelly don't kill her, but you know, oh well, I still inherit. The will hasn't changed. It's funny. I'll only be inheriting my money. Mm. Ain't that funny? <laughs> the last question, I asked you to do this earlier, but I just want you to do it even more, go detail. What do you predict will happen next in the future. You you know, it's like you see it before it happens. Kathy White's true killer is going to be unveiled. And it's not a man. And that woman died screaming. Okay. Anything else? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Show him the tape, Diddy. You got it. Oh man, um that might buy you a little time. We should probably stop looking for plastic surgeons. Man. Looking for a new life, new face. We're gonna hang you high. Jay-Z too. Beyonce too. And we're gonna round up all the fans. See, I love a good gay man. I just can't stand him. Um, and that's what it is. With that being You want to know what's going to happen next? Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm about to fuck up America. Oh. That's what's about to happen next. Here we go. No more filter. <laughs> From this point forward, any word that I say, I ain't holding back. And I ain't saying alleged either. Y'all said I was lying the first time. Now it turns out I'm telling the truth. You still don't want to admit that I was right, but you don't want to admit that you was wrong. So really, then the diplomacy doesn't matter. Fuck you. I'm going to just keep ruining your lives with the truth. And here we go. <laughs> with that being said, um, we want to say, man, y'all living y'all truth as uh, the truth shall set you free. It's 2024. And we just did shout it out to Cat Williams. Yeah, let's go. Shout out to Lunell Campbell. Let's go. Shout out to Kanye Ye West. Hey. Shout out to the Hebrew Israelites. Shout out to my very good friend, Fred Hampton Jr., the chairman of the board for the Black Panther Party. Free them all. Power to the people. As a panther, there you go. I can say that with pride. Man. Shout out to Keefy D. 
Stop pump faking and save your life. And tell them who paid you to say the shit you said. Because you getting poked up and getting your ass beat in jail. And Reggie Wright got you tailor made to fit for a goddamn casket. State's evidence. Witsack. I met your son, Keefe. It's a good man. He follows me on TikTok. He made me change my mind about you. Six months ago, I ain't getting no fuck what happened to you. Today, I'm praying for your life. Every day. Because I want you to live to tell the truth. Because the second you do, Valetta Wallace can finally get justice. The second you do, maybe Aaliyah's family will be held accountable for what they turned their heads to. And maybe Hype Williams will be charged for conspiracy to commit murder. It's time to talk, Hype. It's time for the, the public to ask you why Aaliyah couldn't get on Lenny Kravitz's plane. And you had to put her on that clown car plane. Who asked you to say that? And do yourself a favor before you make any statements. Please remember, I was out a little ex. You're apprenticed. I know a lot more about you than you think I do. I do. Oh. It's time for us to stop pussyfooting with the truth. It is time for Aaliyah Dana Harton's death to be properly investigated. It's time for Fatima Robinson to speak up about what she heard on that phone. It's time for somebody to be honest about who gave Aaliyah the pills that knocked her out before she was carried onto a plane she didn't want to be on. It's time for the other dancers who knew she was terrified to get on that plane to speak up. And it's time for Hype Williams to be officially questioned about why he made her get on that plane and why they forced her to do it unconscious. Jag, for those that want to follow you, uh, the new channel, the new, the new. I am the Jaginator. Pick a number, I'm there. I am the Jaginator. And that's on the platform. Well, right now, Jaguar Wright, back on the new Back on couch. my bullshit. Back on it. We're here again, 2024, man. Let's do Unfortunately, it. Unfortunately, it's just true. <laughs> <laughs> the truth has set you free. Well, we hang you high. It. We got on the couch, Jaguar Wright. We got to say it. Uh, you are a real life street star. Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> go on vacation again. <laughs> Tune in. <laughs> Let's go. Real rap. Shout out real street stars, nigga. Moolah. Hey.